Harbor Freight, the new compact impact wrench that's against the Harbor Freight 2200 inch pound impact driver. 8 amp, 4 amp. 4 inch timber locks. These are four inch timber locks. Now, let's go with, I think this is a six inch ledger lock. Let's do one at a time too. That way it's a lot easier to control. Let's run it in the impact wrench first. I mean, I got a lot of extensions on this, but they say 500. Okay, let's remove it the opposite. Go with something that's a little bit bigger. Okay. Something a little bit bigger. These are 8 inch. And they're both, that's a lead, this is a timber lock, and this is close enough. So I got to be able to run an adapter. I could even pull this off. I'd rather doubt it, but we'll see. And this is on the highest speed, too. And these are both 21700 cells. It doesn't matter. The 8 amp hour lasts longer. Okay. won't even put it in. Wow. Okay. That's kind of fucked up. Let's 
see what we can do about it. One time here. Let me put an adapter on here. See if we can even remove it. is a hard wood. Okay. Well, I won't be able to do that. Okay. In order to remove that now, I got to do something a little stronger. Let's break out the beast. Break out Gen 2 Ultra Torque. Okay, let's use the 8 amp hour. Okay, now how did I do that? Like that, and an adapter, which is crazy. see if it'll even do this. It'll probably snap it. Let's see if it'll put it in. Of course it'll put it in. This is what you get when you get the beast. The Hercules HCB85B2 Ultra Torque 2 with an 8 amp 21 7 hard cell mother humper. So we want to take out the beast from Harbor Freight. Of course, I have the three quarter inch version, and that's the real beast. There you go. I love these Harbor Freight Ultra Torques. Way cheaper than Milwaukee. And you can bring them back to the store if they fuck up. Five-year warranty. Can't say that about Milwaukee. Milwaukee has a five-year warranty. I'd be shocked. Okay. We just proved that now. Wow, that's smoking. Let's move on to a couple other tests. Just trying to prove the power difference between these tools. This impact driver, to be honest with you, has more power than the impact wrench. And we all know this has more power than all the above. And this is the half inch.
Okay. What test is next? Well, I gotta remember what I'm doing here, god damn it. Okay. Well. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I think their impact driver from Harbor Freight has more power than their impact wrench. Okay, let's start these in. So let's put them in an existing holes. I don't want to try to put these in the hard way, please. Take that one out, but that's no big deal. Let's get these level. Okay. Let's get this test right. Okay. This is the Harbor Freight HCB84B2. This is their new compact impact wrench. The black oval molding just came out about a month and a half ago. And this, of course, is the Harbor Freight Hercules HCB81B. This is their 2200 inch pound impact driver. And those are, I think, six inch legs. Now, I'm robbing power out of this. Look how long this extension is. vibrates. Wow, you would think this thing has power. I wouldn't really recommend this unless you're doing a little work. Okay. This is supposed to be a Gen 2. It's more like a Gen 0. This has more get up and go juice. Their impact driver. This is an embarrassment to Harbor Freight. I mean, it's a nice tool, but it's not, it's not like it's as strong as their impact driver. God. I'm tempted to bring it back to the store and get back my money. Not really. I'll keep it. Okay, now what am I doing? I'm trying to think here. Well, let's go with some small stuff. Okay. Actually, warming up more. The impact wrench is warming up more than the impact driver. Uh, yeah, this might be a return. Maybe I'll go get the, the hammer drill. Okay, I got 
got so much crap here. We all know this is going to be futile. We know the impact dryer is going to kick its ass. I know that right now. <laughs> this, an impact driver, I think, is stronger than their impact wrench. Okay. This. Harbor Freight Hercules HCB84B2. This is their new compact impact wrench and half inch. And look how small this is. This is like a three inch lag. Okay, let's put it in some virgin wood. It's cold outside here in Illinois. I hate this weather. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the Harbor Freight Hercules Impact Driver, 2200 inch pounds, HCB81B. With an 8 amp 21 700 cell and uh, the new compact impact wrench has the 4 amp. Hey, they're both 21 700 cells, so you can't bitch about it. Wow! I tell you, this, this kicks the impact, the compact impact wrench's ass. Gosh, this is an embarrassment. It's funny as hell. I tell you, I don't know why I wasted 80 bucks on this. Oh well, better for me to waste it than you guys. Hell, you might as well take your lugs off with this. The impact driver probably does a better job than the impact compact impact wrench on lugs. I'm sure it does. Okay, now we're gonna go to a ridiculous test, even though I hate to do it. <laughs> Oh, this ought to be hilarious. This ought to be off the wall. Okay. Uh, uh, this ought to be hilarious. I tell you, I love doing this shit. I'm bored to death. Okay, look what these are. Ten-inch legs. Okay, we're going to put them in existing holes. There's no way in hell we're not going to do that. No way in hell. Okay. Okay. This is the Harbor Freight. Let's get this shit straight. This is the Harbor Freight. Hercules Compact Impact Wrench, HCB84B2. This is the latest second gen with a 4 amp 21 700 cell, fully charged still. Okay, with this big ass 10 inch leg. Let's see if it'll do it in an existing hole. Let's find an existing hole that won't blow the tool up. Okay, that's about as far as that wants to go. It's warming up, too. Okay. <laughs> this is Harbor Freight Hercules HCB81B. This is their impact driver, 2,200 inch pounds. Okay. Ugh.
Okay, let's put this one in. <laughs> oh man, this is a downfall. This impact driver drives a 10 inch leg better than this impact wrench. Come on now. I might bring this back and get back my money and get another tool or something. Oh, God. Let's try to remove one of these. And this is losing power. Look at the extension on it. Look at it. I got this special. This is the Menards, you know, for running these legs. I'm going to get, get a bunch more of these. These are well worth the money to get these extensions, you know. That way, then you ain't got to screw around. Okay, let's... Oh, man, let's try to remove this. Smoking. Okay, let's try the, the compact impact here. I got a bad feeling about this. a bigger battery on it. I don't think it's going to help much, but let's put it on anyhow. God, this, this is an embarrassment for a tool. I love their other tools, but this thing. I mean, come on now. I mean, you think about it. These are both it's still fully charged, the 4 amp. 8 amp is still fully charged. When you think about it, this should be able to drive. This should be able to drive this 10 inch leg. Way faster than their impact driver. It's a 10 inch fucking leg. I mean, look at these motherfuckers. They're enormous. It's 10 inch. And I know this is losing power because of this. This is a direct connect. Man, this, <laughs> this impact wrench of theirs for a second gen, it might as well be a turd with a motor on it. Gosh. <laughs> I don't recommend this to anybody. To be honest with you, you're better off just using the impact driver. Here, here the tool guy sign.